sagacity, a vanguard in battle, a leader in Chicago, a figure of pomp and pageantry. A mark of strength and utility. Kakankote Forest in Mysore State is bathed in peace. Black Mountain and his herd roam the jungle in search of grass and bamboo leaves. Calm and quiet prevails. Calm and quiet? Well, boys will be boys, even among elephants. And it's trunk against trunk as a young tusker tests his strength, maybe keeping in shape for things to come. But deep in the forest, there's a hushed expectancy in the air. The time is at hand. Instinctively, the herd stands on guard round the mother-to-be. And behold the baby, a 200-pounder is born. When full-grown, he may well weigh 10,000 pounds. And now the little one must have a bath. The slow-flowing Kabbini River is an ideal bathing pool. Uh, don't forget to wash behind the ears. The lifespan of elephants is some 75 years. In India, they are found in the forests of Assam, Mysore, Kurg, Travancore, Orissa and Madras. But in another part of the forest, active preparations are going on and have been going on for several months. Kedah operations are underway. What is Kedah? Literally speaking, Kedah means a ditch, but it's now loosely used to denote a huge enclosure surrounded by a ditch for catching wild elephants. Kedah is also the term used for the whole elephant catching operation. The operation is one of watching, hemming in, and driving the wild elephant herd across the river into a specially built and camouflaged stockade. This is done with the help of some 2,000 beaters and 40 trained elephants called kumkis. The beaters surround and the kumkis drive the herd towards the concealed enclosure. About 80 years ago, wild elephants were trapped in deep pits. This method was dangerous, cruel and wasteful. So the system of Kedah was adopted. Kedah is a costly, complicated and risky operation, requiring skill, experience and infinite patience. But it's worth all the trouble for each elephant will fetch anything from 3,000 to 8,000 rupees. mountain and the herd smell danger. They become alert. The tuskers are restless. A fight flares out. On the other side, preparations are in full swing. The kumkis carry the mahouts and the foresters into the jungle. The herd has been sighted. The drive is on. It will take at least a couple of hours if all goes well. 
hesitates and moves away from the beaters. The drive gathers momentum. The herd heads for the river. Its every move is watched with growing excitement. The Kumkis drive the herd upstream. No easy task, but a task to which they have been patiently trained ever since the system of Kedah originated. hemmed in on all sides lumbers in the direction of the stockade and before they know where they are they are trapped one act in the drama the river drive is over the next begins. The wild elephants must be roped and tied before they can be trained. Care is taken to ensure that there is no grave injury or ill treatment. A Keda operation is usually organized once every four or five years, but more often if a wild herd becomes a menace or a nuisance. to the third act. Next morning, the herd is led out of the stockade. Securely tethered, they are left to think it over.
reasonable, they soon realize the game is up. Then they are ready for training. And so to the final act, the training which takes from three to six months. A trying business, but such are the trials of education. The Kunkis are teachers, not traitors. They patiently wear out the wildness of nature, make the herd more tractable, and so more useful. Once broken in, Black Mountain and all the members of the band will become man's noble companions, ever gentle, ever devoted. <laughs> 